We're here at the FS Logix booth with Kevin, who's going to tell us what he's uh, showing here at Citrix Synergy 2015. How are you doing, Kevin? Hey, I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Brian, and thank you, David Marshall from VMVOG. Um, we're here to tell you about some of the new stuff we got on with uh, FS Logix. We're showcasing our 2.0 product here at Citrix Synergy 2015. Our 2.0 product includes two types of camp at containers that are new, app containers and profile containers. Both these containers allow you to connect up either an application or your user's profile in the guest at runtime when the user logs on or when the user goes to access the application. Uh, I'm gonna point Brian's camera over here to our screen and I wanna alert you to a couple of metrics here that I think you'll find quite interesting. One of the things about the profile containers is you can use them instead of redirected profiles. Anyone who's used redirected profiles in the past will find out that one of the bottlenecks is the numbers of files that you open, number of files you close, and something called the directory notification, which is something that you need anytime you have to extend a file. If we look over here at this graph on the left, you're gonna see that with the profile containers from FSLogix 2.0, we open the profile once per user. Compare that to the 3,000 we have in this graph that's needed just to log on a typical user using login VSI. Now, the same is true for close. For everyone we open, we close when the user logs off. All those other directory notifications that are there, those are when users have to extend their files. Now, anybody who's used redirected folders knows if you get in a bottleneck, one of the reasons why is because the file server has no choice but to sit and do each open individually. It has to stop the machine, lock the table, give a file handle back, stop the machine, extend the directory. You know, I need to put more space out there to write a file and lock everyone else out. So imagine redirecting folders when you're first logging in and you have a lot of files that you redirected from your desktop or from your start menu. Voila, the first guy gets in just fine. The 15th guy is going, gosh, this system is slow today. I don't like this at all. What's the other problem with redirected folders? If you have Exchange and you want to use offline mode, like in an Outlook OST file, those large files are not a good idea to do in a, a redirected folder. Situation happens, you get an email and you need to save it off. What happens? Everyone who has an Outlook OST file has to do one of those directories uh, queries to get more file server space, and the last one waits while the first one goes into through N. So in this case, we've eliminated the need for that entire mess. You connect up this profile, and we will, with FS Logics, a little secret sauce inside your Zen app server, we'll stream it down. We've been telling people here at Citrix uh, Synergy 2015, think of it as PVS for your profiles. Great, well thanks for uh, sharing that with us today and uh, we hope you have a very successful show. Thank you very much, Brian and David, and I uh, hope to see you guys on VM Blog. Thank you very much.